come around for food. I know, that's what I was my concern. <laughs> everybody uh, to this morning of uh, music uh, that we've been asked to put on and we're very grateful to be here to share with you all for this great celebration. Um, we put together a program, my sister Justin and I, of uh, a program we've called More Than 100 Years of Heart and Soul. Now, more than, most of the music we're going to play is sort of jazz standards and tunes from the teens and 20s and 30s and around the era of, of the founding of the ranch and its um, first years, first generation, um, those of our great-grandfather and grandmother. And, um, but we're also going to play some earlier music too, some Bach and some Handel. And so I thought I'd start with a preludio from the E major partita. Um, this is, uh, we may play a couple movements from a sonata later by Bach as well. Sort of culling from a program I'm devising in my mind called, Meanwhile, Bach at the Ranch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Blossom special when you play that. <laughs> now you see where fiddle music comes from. <laughs> All right, well, one of the great treats of this whole occasion is the opportunity for me to be able to see my sister, but um, and also play with her and sing with her. And um, she moved very far away, and we're so thrilled to have her and her husband Marco and her um, son Gabriele here with us. And um, have really enjoyed this week preparing this concert and playing together. Um, and we wanted to play a, a piece, uh, an aria by uh, Handel also staying in the Baroque, and uh, I'll let Joanna tell you what it is, because my German pronunciation is horrible. <laughs> well, where is Echo? There he is, Bernie. All right, I hope, I hope, I'm, I'm, really, this is the exam time for me, that I pronounce everything correctly. Freud, I'm right. Meine Seele hört im Sehen, which means my, tell us, my soul hurts in, in, with pain. Of That's pretty depressing. I actually don't have any translation you did. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Well, let's see if you can glean from the music what it's all about. <laughs> Violin have a German accent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
hears by viewing. So uh, this is a sweet violin piece by Edward Elgar, an English composer, 19th century English composer. And this is uh, titled Salut d'Amor. Which means a sort of love's greeting, or welcome to love. <laughs> a salute to love. Love of nature, and this was a period. This is uh, the um, 
Impressionist period with the painters, and the music also is very impressionist, very watery. You, when you listen to um, <laughs> Andrew play, uh, you have to imagine the story in your mind because there are no words. Now the next level is you have a beautiful poem and you have the words that are expressing an idea, but it's not this is the story, it, they're impressions, even the words themselves. This is called the Les Roses Disparins. It's by uh, Les Contes du Lille. Um, this is the, the composer is Faure. The first two pieces will be by Faure. Uh, the roses of Ispahan in their mossy sheath, the jasmine of Mousoul and the orange blossoms have a fragrance less fresh, have a sense less sweet. Oh, pale Leila, it's the woman. Obviously, there must be someone to be singing to, right, in love. Um, then here is your soft breath, your lips of coral and your light laughter sounds lovelier than the rippling water, lovelier than the gay wind that rocks the orange tree, lovelier than the bird singing on the brim of the mossy nest. Oh Leila, ever since the white light wing wings, all kisses have fled from your lips so sweet, there is no more fragrance in the pale orange tree, no celestial aroma on the roses in their moss. Oh, your young love, this light butterfly would come back to my heart, gentle and quick, and that the perfume of the orange blossoms and the roses of the Ispahan in their mossy sheets. So, it's mm -hmm. an example of, of nature and love, and uh, here we are in the Napa Valley in marvelous nature, and we are a family filled with love. Okay, enough. <laughs>
to play with these wonderful musicians, and it's really such an honor. So thank you, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to get together and, and do this. All right, the next piece, always by Foray, is called Claire de Lune. Many of you know that the, the, by the clear of the moonlight. Well, this has a poem um, which says, your soul is like a chosen landscape. Here, you see the theme? Soul, heart, <laughs> there we go, we're so good. All right. <laughs> and suffering soul, the sweet soul, the fragrant soul of divine lilies that I have picked in the garden of your thoughts. Where then have the winds chased it, this charming soul of the lilies? Is there no longer a perfume that remains of the celestial sweetness of the days when you enveloped me in a supernatural haze made of hope, of faithful love, of bliss, and of peace?
the wind delivers even to troubled hearts in pain. Sound advice, treasure that you are among the living, especially when you are young and when the night's so lovely, for we shall pass away as too shall pass away the wave, she to the sea and we to the grave.
So uh, we have a few more pieces for you, and um, these are actually pulled out of the stacks of Justin's uh, library of sheet music that he got from one of his first piano in uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, They're very old. Um, I believe one is from 1915, One Fleeting Hour. Um, but um, we're going to start first. Should we do the first movement of the Bach? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do they want more Bach? Do you want some more Bach at the ranch? Yeah. Sure. Bach, yes. Bach, yes. Bach, yes. Actually, we'll just do the first, the first movement. So this is the uh, first movement to a, a sonata by Johann Sebastian Bach, um, who uh, is one of the sort of the pinnacle of the, of the Baroque period. His death sort of marked the end of the Baroque and the beginning of the classical period, at least in, in retrospective historical analysis. And um, so this is a, a sonata in G major for violin and continuo. Normally, the continual instruments would be um, historical instruments such as a harpsichord or um, a theorbo or a viola da gamba or something like that, but um, I think this is quite a charming sound to <laughs> It's really the perfect, perfect piano. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank my friend Justin Wallace for coming all the way out here to play with us and to, to, to be here for this celebration. Really, we couldn't have